Welcome back to Good Day. Mondays are home hack days, even when Amanda's not here. Yeah, with spring cleaning season here, it's not warm enough to put away your throw blankets on your sofa, so Amanda has a way to turn them into fashionable pillows. But will she give this home hack a thumbs up or a thumbs down? So the second I laid my blanket out, all of my children jumped on top of the blanket. Okay, kids, off, off. Come on, come on. Call your brother. Go, go. Thank you, Poppy. Okay, so let's get, yeah, let's give this a try. So, Poppy, stop. Okay, there we go. Poppy, off the blanket. This is like trying to make your bed, right, with a dog? And then we fold over like this, and then it's definitely not the right shape blanket, <laughs> Bobby, as the one in the video. So I'm gonna fold it over an extra time. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. Okay. He's licking you, I know. Oh, well, definitely did that wrong. Okay. Um, Okay, okay, son. Oh, maybe like this. <laughs> and you tuck it in there. Tuck, tuck, tuck. And okay. Okay. Um <laughs> I'm not I don't I don't know. I, I guess it becomes this cute little like pillow that you can then put on your couch. I also say you could just like fold it like a normal blanket and stick it in an ottoman or on the back of your couch and that works just fine too, but I guess this, <laughs> yeah, I guess this looks neater. Okay, I don't know, I give this one a maybe. Oh, I love this one. Three, medium, the thumb. sideways. But a thumbs up for Maggie and Poppy. Yeah, they there you the go. They're the stars that home hack <laughs> Who right cares there. about the blanket? Yeah, I mean, just let, let them play on the blanket, let Poppy sleep. and. That was, yeah. I wouldn't fold it because I'd, I'd have to unfold it because I'm always cold, so. I don't even fold just, my blankets right now. They're just kicked off on the side of the couch. You, you, you make them cute. You just fluff them a little bit and it just lived just, in. Just make it decent. That's the vibe. Only if company's ever coming over, that's when you get the, the actually folding and make it look nice. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, I, I agree, Amanda. Medium. Sideways. <laughs> <laughs> With spring cleaning season here, maybe it's time to freshen up the artwork or family photos around your home. Yeah, Amanda has a home hack for that too, but will this one work? Find out. It's always difficult to get your nails to space out just the way you need to to hang pictures. So I thought I would try a hack for this. You'll need some tape and a pencil marker, whatever. And uh, let's give this a try here. So what you do is you run a piece of tape across where you're gonna be nailing your pictures. And then you put a mark on where each of the hooks are. Then you take the tape off, put it on your wall. Okay, I obviously didn't mark my uh, <laughs> level. <laughs> and then, let's see. Does that look even to you? Let's see, I'm gonna go with it. So I'm gonna hammer these in. I'll make it level here. Okay. And here. Okay. Now, let's hang this guy up. Ta-da! Okay, I don't think I put my tape on even. Maybe you should get a level out for that just to make sure that you put the tape across evenly, but I think that actually worked really well. I'm gonna give this hack a thumbs up. Make it even after. We have so many questions now, Amanda. <laughs> you left the tape on. Is it still crooked? Did you take it down? I don't know. I think you could leave a tape up, honestly. You could. Since no one's gonna see it, but yeah. if it's a see-through picture frame, that'd be a little different. Mm -hmm. But 
I'm still gonna stick with my tried and true. You just <laughs> put it on you there guess. and hope for the best. The command hooks. If it, yeah. if it doesn't work, there let it fall go. in a few more weeks. <laughs> I would have to go and find tape. Then I'd have to do, see, that's just too many steps when you can just hope for the best. <laughs> do the eyeball test. Or just call Amanda. Amanda, come hang up my picture for me, please. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>